Hey guys, Griffin back from the Retro Rebellion, and today I'm going to be building my own equivalent of a Nandex or JR programmer. Um, what you're going to need to do this, and you can do this for really cheap, I think in total the parts that I bought is probably around 6 or $7. So, if you're only looking to do like one console or two consoles, I mean, or even if you're looking to do 10 or 15, this is a good cheap alternative to a Nandex or a JR programmer. This chip is the Matrix Nand programmer. Um, yeah, basically this only allows you to read and write the NAND of the Xbox. So basically, we need to rewire it and reprogram it, re reprogram the BIOS on it, so that it will be able to write cool runner chips. Um, it's really not that hard though. The only things you need are a breadboard. This isn't required, but it's just recommended. I mean, it makes it a lot, whole lot easier and a whole lot cleaner. 300 ohm or 400 ohm resistors, depending on what point you use on the board. 10 microfarad capacitor, I had these laying around from a cap swap on a monitor that I did, an arcade monitor. Um, oh, also, these are cheap, I had these, these are probably, probably like $2 for 10. These were cheap, these are probably like $1 for, or $2 for 100 in China. And um, these 1N4728 Zener diodes, 3.3 volt Zener diodes. Uh, these were also pretty cheap. I think there was like two bucks and it came with 20 of them. So Yeah, let's get started on this I'm looking at this thread on 7 cents where this username join the resistance um, Posted a tutorial on how to do this how to wire it and how to program it. So yeah, I'm gonna get started uh, for tools solder my soldering station and some wire and that'll pretty much so i'll get to it and i'll show you guys along the way how the, pro the progress i'm making up So yeah, that part of the circuit is as simple as that. Um, as you saw, about halfway through, I ended up switching because the small little piece of breadboard that I was using that I uh, cut off on another piece was just a little bit too small. I'm probably going to end up uh, finishing this off with the Dremel, so it's not as fucking gigantic. But um, yeah, that's basically that. It's really simple. You just have to make sure that when you're using one of these, you connect the points on the bottom of the board. Bridge them with solder. But other than that, this whole project, I mean, what, 10 minutes? All I have to do next is solder the rest of the wires on according to the diagrams. They don't need any sort of change. That's just a direct wire up. Um, so yeah, I'll get back to you when I just have the, regular, the rest of those wires wired up and then we'll look at programming it, reprogramming the chip on it. So you can use it to program the cool runner. Okay, so I actually cut this board down to size. <laughs> It's a little bit dusty. I put on all the other wires, and um, what I'm going to add now is this pin header. And what's nice about it is that it, you take your cool runner, and it fits right on the pins. So instead of worrying about soldering uh, all of these each time I want to use a cool runner, I can just get uh, use one of these. This, these were mad cheap too. These are probably like I don't know, dollar or, or for like ten of them. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut down these pins on the end short, and then I'm going to solder them on all of their corresponding things. So whenever I want to program the Cool Runner, I could just plug it in like that, and that's it.
And uh, that's that. She is done with the wiring. I changed up the design. I actually ended up putting the um, header on the end of the breadboard. And so when you plug in the chip, it's pretty easy to not fuck up because um, I'm going to remember that I should only plug it in while the chip is facing the board. Like while this, the top side of this board is facing this board. And um, yeah, so that should actually work hopefully um yeah so now i'm gonna take you onto the computer side of things and actually first before i do that so looking at this chip so on this ground pad what you're gonna want to do before you program it short the ground pad and the boot pad short those two together whether you use a wire a solder bridge anything short these two together so that will kind of put this into a uh, program mode so we can write the new BIOS onto the chip. So I'm going to do that real quick and then I will bring you onto the computer side of things for us to program. Okay guys, so here we go. Here's the computer part of the tutorial. You're going to want to plug in your device, go to your devices and printers, right click properties, then go to the hardware tab, click on update driver, browse, Travel to the location where the drivers are from the pack that you downloaded from 7Cents. So I'm going to pick firmware, select the driver folder, OK, next, and then it will quickly install your driver. OK. And then here we are going to open up the PIC program that was supplied in the pack, PDFSUSB. Select that, because that is our board. That's the hex loaded onto it. Um, you may want to save it back up if you want to. This is what I do. Oh, I'm sorry. First, you're want to gonna want to click erase device. Then you're gonna want to click load hex file. Then you're gonna want to click pick xvsf. Then program device. And that it's as simple as that. And you're done. So here's the finished product. As you can see, it works. I actually just programmed this cool runner so I could. Uh... RGH 1.2 this Jasper. Um, yeah. Uh, the only problem I had with mine, I think that when I put the wires onto the little connector that I have here, this little header, that um, there must have been a short or something. 
and it wasn't programming, but I just soldered the wires directly on, and uh, it just programmed successfully. So, yeah, uh, that's it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe if you need. If you have any questions, just leave them down in the comments below, and I'll help you out the best I can. That's uh, really uh, self-explanatory, pretty much from the diagram. It's really easy. And if you're not looking to drop 40 or 50 bucks on a uh, regular program, or you could buy one of these for like six bucks. So, okay, guys, thanks for watching.